Hey guys, Gerald Davies here, and uh, I've been looking a little scruffy lately, so um, why don't I go ahead and show you uh, how I give myself a haircut with one of these clippers, trimmers here. What you do is find uh, the right one of these for your trimmer and they usually fit right on top. It's, it's like a spacer. Real short on the sides, not military, but real short on the, on the sides and the back. That would be uh, one eighth. You'd use one eighth inch spacer for your clippers. Then you progressively work longer as you moved up your head. So always start with the back in case you screw up. You know, you, you can always cut it shorter on top to match however you screwed it up in the back. Okay, I got the one I got the one eighth spacer here. So you just fit these things, they kind of just fit right over the top and clip on. Easy. I'm just gonna start with right here in the back and on the sides. Okay. Okay. So here it goes. I gotta kinda of watch the mirror here so I don't lose track of where I am. You know, the longer your hair is, the more the more uh, shaggy it is, the more you're just going to have to work it. And um, you could even cut it with the scissors. You could cut it shorter just to make it a little easier on yourself. Uh, you work it right up to the crown of your head right here. I'll call this the crown area. Uh, yeah, so I hit one side, and I'll, and I'll go hit the next side. want to, you know, keep working it, keep digging in and just keep under the crown area on the sides and the back. You can save yourself a lot of money doing it this way. I mean, I charge you down at the barber shop or the beauty shop. It all depends, but um, it's a lot. And uh, I think one of these trimmers costs around, I mean, I went to Ross actually and bought this trimmer. So... Um, this is like twelve dollars plus. I can cut it how I like it, you know. And I'll be the guy. You can do this kind of stuff. I think most women, they're not gonna cut their own hair too much. Some girls do maybe, but uh, you know, I still haven't touched the top yet. Okay, still haven't touched the top. Just see a little bit of what I'm doing behind here. And uh, uh, how it's going. Remember, you can you can actually take this one eighth all the way up to about this top section here. It's gonna, you know, it depends the style you want. There's that uh, fade and all. I'm I'm just doing a regular white guy haircut. Yeah. Joe Joe Blow. <laughs> I think the the back and the sides are getting are getting pretty good now. So now you can you can move on to the uh, the coup de resistance, the masterpiece, which would be the top. You were going on one eighth before, or at least I was, and uh, that's a nice uh, short length. So now. You want to bump it up a little bit now, and um, how much you bump it up is up to you. If I mean, I'll, I'll bump it up now to five eighths, and just see, and then hit the back with. See, I, could, I I got five eighths on here now, and I can't even touch the back. That is five eighths is in in the front though, where it's real long. I hit five eighths, so now I'm just going to hit this long stuff with a. Five eighths. Let's just sculpt it now, and I'll work from back. I'll work from the back side to the front side. Go 
kind of avoid going to the very front. I, uh, I've been sad a couple times when I cut off the very front and I didn't really want to. So, okay. So. The most important factor is just knowing your, uh, your guides. I guess they're called guides maybe, not spacers. Um, but, but you get to know your guides and the certain guides you need to use to give yourself a haircut. The lengths, you know, start, start short, work your way long. Start back, work your way front. After you kind of get the top, and then I like to go back, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the transition here between the short and the long. So you don't have that sudden uh, length change that's going to be noticeable or weird looking. This is probably a good way to do it right here. Just come up from the back and go front. We're getting the front right here. Being very careful how much I take off here in the front. There's always going to be spots here and there that you're going to have to go back to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go for like a um, I'm going to go for like a one quarter. Put on a one quarter size uh, spacer here and. Uh, guide and I'm gonna go right in between the this area here. Right in between the transition between the let's keep working that area right in there. Here down and I'll just go right up in there with the one eighth behind the ear. Get all that long hair that's behind the ear that you couldn't get. Okay, so starting to finish things up here, uh, getting kind of to the end of the haircut, and uh, just want to say hey, thanks, guys, and uh, I'm trying to get subscribers on my channel. It's it's it's, it's a little bit harder than uh, than my mom told me it would be, and uh, so anyway, if you could subscribe, uh, just hit this right here, and uh, that'd really help me out. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, um, oh, oh, one last thing that you might want to do here is to hit it right in the back where you have this neck hair kind of stuff that comes down here. And what I like to do is, is I take all the guides off, and you got to be careful now, but you just, I use a mirror to kind of see what I'm doing. And uh, just, I know where the, the top of my hair is right here, and I just can feel it and shave that stuff off with a bare with the bear thing, with the bear clippers. And uh that can get that stuff off. Be careful you don't go up too high. That'll screw you up. I usually ask my wife on, on this one if uh how I do on the on this very back section. But um anyway that's how you do it and just keep working it. Man, I'm getting so itchy here I gotta hop in the shower but uh Hey, Gerald Davies out. Um, aloha from Hawaii, and I'll see you guys next week. All right, aloha. Bye.